Thanks for joining me as I travel the world, going from fine dining through to street food and local specialties, all in an effort to find the world's best seafood. Hey folks, I'm on a layover in Seoul for some meetings on my way back from Mongolia and Bhutan and I have to check out the seafood. Seoul's famous for seafood and I've come to their central fish market to see what we can find. So as soon as you get down to that first plateau from the stairs you're hit with how huge this place is. Almost overwhelming. Jesus, I'm in heaven. Let's do this. First off, this is the giant scallop they serve in Japan. It's like that big and you actually take slices of it on top of the sashimi instead of a, um, a whole one that you put on top of this kind of scallop. Crazy. Look at the size of these mussels. Whoa. I'm gonna have a great day. Little baby abalones. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Don't touch it, okay. I should be, I should be. I'm sure you've seen at food markets, like fruit markets, where they'll cut open an orange to show you that it's good inside. How about this? Cracking open the crab to show it's got roe inside. Okay, here we go with some fish. We've got flounder. It looks like some kind of maybe carp. Bream up the back. Salmon fillets. That looks like a big bonito. Look at that guy. He looks got like a crocodile head. Some that have already been sashimi. So these are some of the stands that will do sashimi for you right here and now. You can see the guy in the background is preparing one already. So you can either get it all done here or you could buy a fish, take it home or take it to one of the nearby restaurants. <laughs> if you've never uh, tried to fillet a salmon, to get that salmon sashimi, you actually have to go through with tweezers and clean it all out. Let's have a look. You can see the fatty belly here. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah. I'll let you decide what these guys look like. So as I walked around, for the most part, they were really friendly, fine with having photos taken, that kind of thing. Um, a huge variety of different fish. I'll slow down and show you a couple. And here in the back are some of the kitchens that will cook the stuff up for you. I think it's time we take a look in some of the back alleys. Okay, as soon as you go off the main drag, things quieten down. Here we go, fish, the last aisle seem to be all frozen and pre-packaged stuff. Maybe dried as well, but yeah, frozen. This one's fish, whole fish, filleted fish, cross sections of fish. Amazing. Bonito, or oh, that could actually be huge mackerel. Okay, at this one we've got all kinds of roe and different things that are used for side dishes including uh, raw seafood that then is just mixed with chili uh, to make up the side dish. There's really everything here, the tiny little shrimp and the extremely pungent shrimp paste. Pretty much everything you could need for any seafood recipe you're gonna find here. I haven't found really exotic stuff yet like stonefish or pufferfish. I don't know if they sell that here. They're pretty tight on regulation. 
Um, but my mouth is watering and I'm happy I got here earlier than my friend, but I'm kind of regretting it because I want to eat. Remember I talked to you about those giant scallops they use in um, traditional Japanese sashimi? Check this out, that's the inside of them. They're not terribly big ones, but you can see the size of it, they're huge. You take a cross section out of there to put on rice for sushi. This one's more pre-packaged or pre-weighed things. We've got clams, cockles, cuttlefish. Look at that guy. Rare to see fresh cuttlefish like this. Uh, the meat from them only, oysters, clams, cockles. Okay, I think that's enough foreplay now. Time to meet my Korean friend and get stuck in. So I was really glad to have a friend with me, but you could totally come here without a local guide. Just that helps sometimes with translating, but overall they were really helpful. Hello. Hello. So is there a difference between these and these or just size? Same. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good value. Wow. Do they have any girl ones with eggs? Do they have any girls with eggs? What? Do they have any girl lobsters with eggs? That's a way of saying no. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up getting this rockfish, we got that and a couple of other fish from this guy and they cut it all up sashimi style for us. I actually did an individual video on this showing how they did all of that. You can click through on the link here and in the caption to check it out. But we got some of the fish that was currently in season, these little guys, as well as the rockfish. That very nimble lady climbing across the tanks, that's where we came back to get a lobster and one of the giant scallops. ditch attempt to get even for us buying him the lobster stole the lady's glove and wouldn't let go we headed upstairs to a restaurant that was packed up um, and tell them how you want it steamed or cooked and they weigh everything up and then we can yeah. fried or grilled or uh, steamed maybe grilled, grilled? Yeah. grilled and then do you want to get the tail sashimi just so you can say you've tried it okay. So we just straight up opened our sashimi that we brought up and then these are some of the different side dishes that it came with and we got a beer and a soju. It's pretty traditional to drink these if in this way, uh, half a shot or a good shot of soju mixed with a glass of beer. Looking down on the fish, that uh, the shiny one with the very thin silvery skin, that's the shard and then the other one is the rockfish. The shard was very chewy, even slightly crunchy. Uh, the other one was actually one of the best sashimi I've had. It was really impressive, the rockfish one. Next up came out the lobster. We got the tail done in sashimi. I'm generally not a fan of it, but this one was pretty good and my friend was keen to try it. Really, really meaty. Now, no soy sauce. The Chinese love Australian uh, lobster for sashimi. But I find it's like a rubber band. I really don't like it at all. This is a Canadian lobster and I think I still prefer it cooked but the texture is a lot better. Um, not a whole lot of flavor though but um, very excited. Japanese say gizu shard but the whole one was just shard. 
So we ate away, the different dishes came out just as they were ready. Uh, that was the scallop after they had sliced it up and grilled it again. It was just fantastic. And each of the different things, nice nails by the way, has its own different sauce. So for the scallop, it was the sesame oil with salt. For the shard, that one was, it came with a special dipping sauce that was based on miso. And then the lobster and the rockfish were just straight old soy sauce with wasabi. Next up out came the giant claws that we'd had them grill. These were also really nicely done and just enormous. There was so much meat inside the claws. And all that green stuff you can see inside the head, that's edible as well. It was a monster feast, but I have to say it was, you know, if you go to a really local restaurant, you can probably pay less somewhere in Seoul, but compared to worldwide prices, the prices were really good, including the cooking and without having to haggle on the food at all. If you go to Seoul, I strongly suggest you check it out. There's so many seafoods there, you just can't go wrong. Thanks, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon on my journey to find the world's best seafood.